Now, normally with SiteGround, at the point you're making the connection with your domain, it will probably say to you, do you want to install anything while we're here, like WordPress, which is how you get the Aqua green screen, or WordPress with WooCommerce. I always say just do WordPress for now. Don't install WooCommerce, even if you're a shop, do that later on, okay? So just install WordPress, and that's where you set up your admin user um, email, your username and your password. Make sure you keep note of your username and password for WordPress, okay? Very, very important. So you can do that there and then, or you can do it afterwards. Either way, it's going to be the same process. So what we're going to do is we are going to install WordPress. So you click WordPress, and this option will be, an option will be available on your hosting. You know, here it's available on the site tools on the right-hand side, left-hand side, even though for how you're looking at it on screen. Um, but it may be different depending on your hosting company, but you'll get an idea of where it is. It's pretty simple. And then you can go to install and manage. And this is where I say WordPress. When I click that, it's then going to say, right, what is the username and what is the password you want to put in? And then you click install. At this point, it may say to you, though, do you want to install a contact form? Do you want to install this? Do you want to install some marketing? Don't fall for that because it's adding on plugins and stuff which you think you've got to use. Don't do that, okay? We're just doing a normal WordPress installation. We don't want contact form. We don't want anything else because we're going to get all of that with Elementor, okay? So just do your installation. You'll have a username. You'll have a password. And then you'll be good to go with setting up the rest of the website.